Do not stop praying for your family members. Don't stop praying for family and friends that's living in sin or don't believe in God. Mothers, don't stop praying for your sons. Fathers, don't stop praying for your daughters. Don't stop praying for your sons. And children, don't stop praying for your parents. And I just wanted to share a testimony to just really explain why I'm saying this. So last night, I just felt a huge burden on my heart to just start to pray for my mom. And if you've seen some of my videos, I basically talked about how I no longer live with her because there was a lot of abuse that took place when I did used to live with her. So now I live with my dad, me and my sister and my brother. And the Lord has really healed me from a lot of the trauma. So I don't feel any anger or malice towards her. My, my true desire is for her to be saved. And I was very sad in my spirit this particular night. So I said, Father, let me just pray for my mother. And there was a lot of spiritual warfare because as I was trying to speak, y'all, it was very difficult to get some of the words out. And it's not because I didn't want to say it, but it was like it was another force that didn't want me to say it. I started to tremble. It was so many things going on. And my sister, she said, keep praying, keep praying. He doesn't want you to keep praying, speaking of, about the devil. So I kept praying, y'all. I kept praying. And one of the most important parts that's very significant for this testimony is I said, Father, may angels encounter her. May she have spiritual encounters of you, Jesus. Like, Father, I just want her to encounter you. May you visit her. May you send angels to visit her. And I said, and this is when I started to get interrupted again, is when I was trying to say, change the heart of stone, which is in the Bible, to the heart of flesh. That was the part that was difficult to say. And I can understand why now because of what I'm about to explain. But eventually I said that part. And yeah. So fast forward to today. And so fast forward to today. When I was at school, the Lord had given me a vision. And in my vision, I saw an angel. And the angel, he had like a heart. A human heart in his hand and he was doing something to the heart and as he was doing something with the heart i was in a trance as this was going on i wasn't even aware of my surroundings as the lord was showing me this but he was doing something um with the heart and so when i and so when i finally got out of the trance what was crazy is i felt a physical hand upon my heart and i gasped in that moment at what i had seen all of a sudden i started to remember what i had prayed i said change the heart of stone into a heart of flesh, Lord. I pray may angels encounter her. And it's crazy because the last time I've ever seen an angel was when I was four years old. And at that time, my entire family was in a hospital as my mom was giving birth. And standing beside her was an angel that I saw him. And I sat upright in my seat after that happened, y'all. Like, it felt so surreal that i started to ask the lord like lord like did i really see this like it almost didn't feel real i said father you're gonna have to give me another confirmation so then it was time for me to go to one of my other classes but i had to use the bathroom first so i dropped my bag in the room and i went to go to the bathroom and when i came back the man he was showing a diagram our teacher he was showing a diagram and this was the image that popped up like that's crazy y'all like, that's how I knew that it wasn't a coincidence and that I wasn't tripping. And, and even earlier before that, I just kept having this strong feeling over me that her heart is going to change. She's not going to have the same heart. There's going to be a change because when I tell y'all that moment felt so real, this is why we can't stop praying for our family and our friends, y'all, because the devil wants you to give up. The devil wants you to stop praying. I was watching a, a testimony of this guy. He used to, I was watching a testimony. And you guys probably, like, people in my generation, teenagers, like, y'all probably know Joshua Bassett from Disney and in his testimony he was basically sharing how he used to never believe in God he used to mock God he used to make fun of people that believed in God but one day when he was I can't remember exactly where he was but he said he felt the Holy Spirit hit him so strongly and in that exact moment that he felt the Holy Spirit his father had been praying for him the whole entire time so <sighs> so don't be so don't give up praying for these people because the Lord wants to deliver them y'all and you know, because when I tell y'all, even now, that moment feels surreal. It's even shocking me now to my core, y'all. Like, I promise y'all, when I make these type of videos and share these experiences, I'm not making this up, y'all. Like, I promise I'm not doing this for views or anything. But I share these because I want you guys to be encouraged in the Lord. Because when I tell y'all, even now, like, even now as I'm sitting here, even now as I'm sitting here, y'all, like, I'm amazed. I'm just amazed at the glory of the Lord. Like earlier, I felt. I'm just amazed. Like earlier, I was getting a little emotional because like. 
I just love my mother dearly, and I want her to be in the kingdom of God. I don't want her to perish or die for sins, y'all. And the fact that the Lord has shown me this, like, that just really, because sometimes I just be feeling like giving up in my prayers. Like, there's moments where, where I'm like, you know, like, you know when you feel like God is not moving fast enough, but there's moments where in my prayer I'm just like, you know, is God really listening? You know, like, sometimes the devil will put that thought in your mind, like, oh, the Lord's not really listening, but he is. And, of course, not everyone is going to be saved. Some people, they're not going to choose God. Some people, they're not going to choose Christ. But nevertheless, we should continue to pray for the people that will. And so, I just wanted to share my testimony, y'all. And I just want to share my testimony, y'all. And I really pray that this message encourages somebody, y'all. Because, yeah, I'm still in shock at what I saw today. God bless y'all.